YouTube, welcome back to Life of Alicia. If you've been following me on these videos or Instagram or my blog or literally anything, you would know that I love to travel. And if you don't know that, then you should probably subscribe down below. But anyways, today I'm gonna be telling you guys about all the places that I've been and this is my international version of this video. So this is part one and part two will be coming out shortly. So if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, then you would know that I'm in Japan right now, and I think this is my 16th time here, um, and I really like it because I have family here, and I've been to Tokyo, and Osaka, and Kyoto, which are like the major three big cities that people usually come visit here, um, and I really, really like the atmosphere. Tokyo is great, you can literally find anything there. It's a huge, huge, huge city, it's one of the biggest cities in the world. And they have something for everyone. It's a great place and if you're looking for stuff to do, there's great nightlife, there's great cultural experiences, there's so many things to do in Tokyo. And Tokyo is the capital of Japan right now, but the old capital is actually Kyoto. Um, so I've been there too, there's lots of fun stuff to do there, there's tons of cultural things, shrines, um, festivals, all kinds of stuff in Kyoto. And Osaka is just another really big city and it's really cool too because it has a lot of different architecture that you might not find in some other places like there's this one building that has like a highway literally running through the high rise. Japan also has a Tokyo Disney Resort and that is probably one of my absolute favorite places in the entire world. I love it there, I've been there so many times. They've got like a Disneyland which there's like a bunch of in the world and then there's also Disney Sea um, and that's unique to Tokyo and I'm pretty sure Tokyo Disneyland makes like way more money than all of the other uh, Disney's in the world just because of the number of people that go and spend money there like it is so great I love it um, and then in Osaka they actually have USJ so Universal Studios Japan and they just built a Harry Potter world and I am so excited I went a couple years ago and I'm going back this trip and I am so 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 excited I absolutely love Harry Potter and so it'll be a nice change from Disneyland it's a little bit different but they also have like other themes like a Marvel um, section and a uh, Jurassic section like it's actually pretty cool there I, I really like it so those are most of the places that I've been to in Japan I really want to go see uh, Mount Fuji I want to go up north to the Hokkaido prefecture and I also would really like to go to Okinawa but unfortunately the weather isn't super great there right now so um, might not be able to go this trip which kind of sucks but Japan wonderful place if you ever get a chance to visit it's an amazing opportunity it's so culturally different but also like really similar because it is like a first world country so it's you know developed but it's very very different in the way that they live their lives. I think 80% of the people here are Buddhist and 90% are Shinto but if you ask someone in Japan whether or not they're religious they're gonna say that they don't have a religion because Buddhism and Shintoism are just kind of like their way of life it's not really like a religion to them which I think is really interesting but yeah those are um, the most of the places that I've been to in Japan I'll probably talk more in detail about them especially if I go back um, on this trip so a while back I actually went on a trip through Greece and Greece is a beautiful beautiful country but fortunately I went during like that whole like economic crisis situation so it was kind of scary because there was like a bunch of like riots and all kinds of stuff happening um, but it was still a beautiful beautiful country and I went to Athens and I was supposed to take a cruise through like the Aegean Sea and go to like all the Aegean islands and Crete and all that stuff but the cruise got cancelled and I actually ended up going to northern Greece instead and seeing like the suspended monasteries and some of the olive gardens and all kinds of stuff like that and that trip was probably so... I'm not even sure what the right word is like it was... I really really love Greek mythology so being able to see where all these like myths and legends and stuff started and I had a wonderful wonderful tour guide too like he stayed with us like, the entire time and he was so knowledgeable about all this stuff in Greece and it was really really fun because I got to see like where like the legend or the myths of Delphi started and the Acropolis and all the gods and all that stuff and it was just so wonderful because I really really like that stuff and it was so cool to be able to actually stand in those places and take pictures and have someone who's really knowledgeable telling me about all these stories from 
you know, ancient Greece. So that trip was really, really fun and I would love to go back. I didn't get to go to Santorini and I really, really want to go there. Um, and just back to Greece as a whole, Athens is really nice too. I remember there was this one like shopping street and there was this one like gelato place and the old man that ran that shop was so cute. He like learned our names and me and my friends, like we went back there like three or four times and the gelato was actually so, so good. And the guy was just so nice and they had like really interesting flavors too and um, if I could I kept like a cup from it but I uh, left in Canada so I can't remember what it is but the gelato is really really good and I want to go back to that place I really hope it's still open the next time I go back to Greece so those were the descriptions of most of the places that I went to in Greece and then Japan um, so that was part one of this series uh, stay tuned and I'll be posting part two which was mostly North America based scratch that it is fully North America based. I hope you enjoyed this video. As you know, I look forward to traveling more. So stay tuned. You will see part two of this very shortly. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.